Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video we are going to see the new version of Stable Diffusion Automatic Wallumanlovin version 1.6 installation on Google Colab and preview of this version. The Colab link. Find it on the GitHub and I put the GitHub link in the video description. Let's get started. So I will be using Google Colab Notebook. Go to Colab Notebook link. In this, I am going through the installation of new version of automatic Wolven Wolven 1.6 that supports SDXL. Also, follow along the steps of the installation to get it perfect. In this step selecting model, you can put the path from your connected drive or you can put the link. Also, if you want to keep it simple, just select the model from the drop down list. I selected SDXL as a base model. Below, you can put LoRa links also, and there are also options to install desired control net models. Okay, let's start the Stable Diffusion Web UI and when you got the link, click to open it. So here is your web UI with some changes here. Um, as you can see, our model for SDXL is loaded here. I also stalled another model realistic version. Below you can see some changes here. Now there are tabs you can see and the LoRa tab also. Now on the front, look at the sampler methods. There are some new samplers like LMS and Human. An exciting update is here for Hyrus and Refiner. Now enabling these, you just need to open it and it will enable automatically and you can use it normally as the user interface is pretty much the same. And same goes for Refiner as well. You can select the checkpoint and noising control also. Another exciting thing is there were text button here which are converted into icons. Now these icons included in paint, image to image, and more. And of course, send to extra for upscaling. Let's try generate something. I'm installing the extension for SDXL prompt styler here. To see the results with SDXL, go to extension tab, search the extension SDXL stall, and check for updates, and then restart your web UI. Here is your extension. You can enable by button given to enable and there are a lot of prompt style presents here. So let's generate something using this with the base model SDXL. Give a random prompt. Here I am putting something unrealistic. Dino in the space for the style I'm selecting now photographic do remember to enable the button change the resolution also to something higher than default. As SDXL does not work good with lower resolution. Also enable the refiners select the checkpoint and drag down the noise to lower number. Then generate the image with more number of batch count. So here are the images. Take a look at the details it now at last. Let's try something different. I'm selecting 3D Imprompt Styler and put the resolution 
to horizontal to see the generation. Here is the end of this tutorial. Do subscribe our channel with some blessings and stay tuned for more exciting videos. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.